Hello and welcome to another step-by-step -step how to tie tutorial video. This is Tom Sue's Hopper. This is tied on a size 6. This is a Moonlit ML054 1x strong 2x long barbless hook. Uh, bodies were all punched out of various sizes of uh, foam from River Road Creations as well as the wing Rubber legs are a bug legs, medium bug legs from Fly Tires Dungeon as well as the eyes are from Fly Tires Dungeon. So let's go ahead and remove our sample. And before we secure our hook, I have a portion of a hook that I'm going to secure in my vise. I think I have it this way, yep. <clears throat> and what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, build our body with our two pieces of body foam. So we'll begin this with a couple wraps of thread and I'm not going super tight on these locking wraps. Um, I do want to have the ability to slide this whole component off when I'm done. But my first wrap will begin right at the butt section, the end of the tail. And it's just as simple as taking a couple tight locking wraps. All right, I'll take a couple soft wraps forward, move on to my next segment. Take a couple tight wraps, a couple loose wraps moving forward. In my next segment. Here we go. I'm satisfied with that. So I'm going to come in with my whip finish tool. I'm going to do a couple of turns, locking this in. One, two, that body we'll give that a little twist here in just a moment trim off our tying thread all right we'll remove our holder from the vise we'll carefully slide that out and as I feared I have just a little bit of thread that came out we'll just trim that out and that's good to go so let's set that off to the side for now Put our hook in our vise now. Uh, this is a size six. And the thread we're using it's a 210 denier. I went with a larger thread so it doesn't cut into the foam as we tie. Trim off our tag end, and we'll just build a nice full-length layer of thread. We'll take that back and forth once. Excellent. All right, we'll take our thread to the rear of the hook where we will tie in our body. And we want to line up the back of the head right behind the eye of the hook. So looks like we've got to bump our thread forward just a little bit. All right, right over that final body segment, we'll take some tight locking wraps right on top. Hold our material back and take a couple wraps and then one more wrap over the foam. And that's going to hold that all in place. Help my thread forward for my next body segmentation. And I'm making my segments a little bit bigger each time I move forward. Here we go. I'm satisfied with that. They're looking pretty good. Now we can tie in our legs. And I like to line up that rear leg right with the end of the tail. 
just going to take a couple soft wraps on the near side. I'll match that up with the far side. Excellent. Fold our foam, get that out of the way. We'll bring our thread forward. We'll tie in our next body segment. Also at this point, we can tie in our forward legs. Actually before we tie in our legs, I just want to come in and trim this foam just a little bit. That all back as trim back as much as possible. There we go. Gotta keep it clean. Alright, we'll take our little medium bug legs. Now these are measured out at about an inch and a half or four millimeters. And I want this on the bottom end. And I can sit there and position that. Let's come in on the far side. Tie this in. There we go. I like it. Alright. Next at this point, let's take our wing. This is a uh, modeled uh, wing sheet. And I want to position this just so it goes a little bit beyond the tip of the tip of the tail. I'm coming in at it with a couple of soft wraps, making sure it doesn't roll. Alright, I'm satisfied with that. And then now, we'll bring our thread forward one last time to make our head. Before we make our head, we're going to trim our excess wing off. Make sure if we fold everything back. It's a nice little pronounced head up front. Fold that back. Take a couple of turns of thread there. We'll give our head something to glue into. We can come in with our whip finish tool. You guessed it, one, two, three turns. All right, let's go ahead and trim off our tying thread. And we can get our glue ready. I am using a gel control glue. And we'll glue our head down. Just a little dab of glue right there. I'll let that smear around. We'll pinch that head closed. And if you get any glue that comes out, just come in with your bodkin. Wipe that clear. You might want to stick that somewhere else. Next we're going to put our little shield on the back, little dab of glue there, Got our little shield piece, we want to just make sure we get that nice and even. We'll glue that down. careful around those legs. Don't want to get too much glue on those. We want our legs to be free range. And last but not least we'll uh, come in with a little bit of marker. This is an olive marker and I'm just going to kind of dirty this whole fly, whole hopper up. Just kind of help model this whole look. And just put a little touch of, touch of marker a little bit everywhere. break up the pattern a little bit. I'm actually just going to leave that tail split on the back end. I kind of like that look. Alright, last but not least, we'll come in with our eyes. We'll just do a little dab up there. And for the green hoppers, 
I really like your little red eyes. Push that in place. There we go. Right in the middle of that head. Alright, we'll repeat the process on the other side. A little dab of glue. Our vodka to help us. Put that into position and put it down. We have it. We'll go a little bit shorter on these front legs. Alright, so there you have it folks, that is the Tom Sue's Hopper, tied on a Moonlit size 6, ML054. Happy tying everybody, and with this one, tight lines.